If you guys are looking to change your career into software development and you're not sure where to start, check out Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. The link is in the description tab below. They're focusing on all the latest web development languages, libraries, technologies that you need to know in order to get your foot in the door in the industry as soon as possible. Hey guys, what up? So this video is going to be 10 reasons why you want to use Bottle for your next Python project. So I'm not going to be focusing on what Bottle lacks. This is about what Bottle actually has and why you would actually want to use it for your next Python project. As far as Python web frameworks are concerned, and that's what Bottle is, um, it's not a widely used framework. I think a lot of people overlook it because of its simplicity, but we're going to get into the top 10 reasons to use it. So number one, uh, Bottle is a micro framework. That's, that's what it's considered. It's a very small framework, has overall a very small file size um, when you go to transport this project. Um, and micro frameworks are all the hotness these days. And the reason why is because everybody's talking about a slim API that your web application client side communicates, you know, HTTP requests via, you know, Ajax posts and, and gets and everything. Um, and you're going to make requests to your web server come back with some data, use something like Vue, React, or Angular that's going to build the UI with that JSON data that's being returned from your slimmed down API. Much more work involved with that when you get into authentication, session management, cookies, local storage, things like that. Uh, obviously, maintaining ses sessions and things like that in a stateless system is uh, difficult. But anyway, B Bottle is about micro frameworks. So I was working at a company last year, and, and they were all about micro frameworks. They were using a, a pattern that was called the BFF, which stands for back end for front end. Um, it was actually coined by some developers over at SoundCloud. Um, and it's really just about um, breaking up your API into much more smaller manageable chunks. And then by doing so, you don't have these monolith APIs that you have to you know, release and, uh, and notify all of your uh, end users of, of the new endpoints and things like that. So I think it's, it's, it's really about being able to update your API more efficiently. All right, number two, it's easier to separate your uh, databases across something like bottle you could actually have um it, it's it's just much easier like if you wanted to have certain functionality certain por portions of your api that are uh, connected to like a nosql mongodb database or if you wanted to have another one that's 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 with postgres or like with uh, mysql or something it's just much easier than something like django which does have support for multiple databases it's just a little bit more difficult there's a lot more overhead uh, with a much more monolithic uh, uh, web framework like Django. But if you're looking for multiple databases, want to do some exploratory stuff with NoSQL or something like that, then Bottle is probably going to be easier uh, to have multiple databases. So sometimes after a long day's work, like uh, minimalism can be just, it, it can be a godsend. Like it can be the best thing you've ever seen when you're dealing with a very complex code base and you come home and you want to learn something like bottle it's a very very uh, small learning curve because there's just not a whole lot involved in this project so because it's such a minimal project the next point is that it's easy to customize and extend you're going to be able to add um, you know different python projects out there like say you want to use the python request library or something like that um, you could do the same thing with django um, but as far as being able to just extend pieces of functionality like let's do a more uh, difficult example like creating your own temp template engine or something along those lines you're gonna have a much easier time doing that and and bottle than you would with something like django and i don't mean to compare everything to django it's just that is uh the number one framework for python so that brings me to my next point then um it has support already for template engines that it pretty pretty much everything you're going to need like jinja 2 is actually supported with bottle and if anybody's ever been doing any sort of uh, Django development, Jinja 2 came along and it very much copied the Django syntax for the Django template engine, uh, but they just did it better and it actually it ran faster and, and everybody started liking Jinja 2 and it became kind of the default template engine for things like Flask. And um, so then Django ended up uh, supporting other template engines like Django, uh, Jinja 2. But my point is, uh, from the past, uh, the previous example, is that you probably don't want to write your own template engine because Jinja 2 is going to be most likely better than anything you're, you're, you're going to be able to write by yourself. So if I had to say three things that, that um, Bottle is really good for, I mean, I would be looking at the fact that it's micro framework, it's very, very minimalistic, and it's fast. And that's what I want to point out here. It's actually much faster than most other Python frameworks. So if you look here, you can see from this chart, the smaller is the better. So Python is ranking down here with Falcon, and, and it's just way faster than something like 
uh, you know, even Tornado and Django up here is actually lagging. Uh, although Tornado is is more about um, responding faster than than taking um, you know uh, multiple requests. But anyway, um, here's another chart where you can see that uh, the lower the better. Bottles kind of ranking down in here, uh, kind of middle of the pack there. But different. I'll link to this uh, this website here. This is on GitHub, but. Um, the, the point is, is that that bottle is much faster than most other Python frameworks. So there's really no order to this list, but um, the next thing, and it goes along with the speed and the micro framework and the, the slim API, um, it's very async friendly because it does have support for uh, G event and, and G, that's how you actually pronounce it as G event, uh, at least from what I understand. But it's a framework for asynchronous uh, IO and it has a synchronous programming model. So it's actually much more easier to reason about than other projects that are similar to it, which, is, which would include something like Python Twisted or the Tornado project. My problem with both of those projects is that they're not very well documented. Like you're basically, uh, and they're very difficult to use. They're very low level as far as, you know, sockets and things like that. So, um, yeah, you know, good luck with that. But with Gevent, it's actually much easier to use. So, so we're seeing more and more popularity with that. So Bottle's been around for a long time, nearly a decade. It's right at nine years right now. It's still actively developed. It's open source. You can contribute to the project on GitHub. So for all the reasons stated previous to this example, the reason why you're going to learn a lot is because you're going to end up having to customize so much of the functionality that a full-scale web application actually needs. So something like Django is doing so much out of the box for you. There's so much middleware that's already written and templates and, and uh, uh, just the database connections and, and um, everything from the, 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 the SQL ORM that, that comes with Django that can communicate across different types of databases. Like there, there's just there's so much to it. Django is actually solving so many different problems that different web applications need. But the problem is, is it's very opinionated about it. So if you ever wanted to actually understand how all those pieces come into play uh, or be able to choose individual pieces and how they all end up plugging and playing together, then obviously something very small like Bottle that you're going to end up growing into a much larger thing, uh, a customizable thing like, a, like your own Django framework, um, you're going to have a much easier time starting with something small and building into something large you know, versus starting with something monolithic and going through all that code base and trying to make it smaller and more slimmed down and just, you know, it, it, plugging and playing with different parts, it's much, much more difficult with a larger code base that's been developed like uh, with, with something like Django or even Flask. And then finally, the last reason to use Bottle is it's all Python. So if you're a Python developer, you're going to be able to go in and start, you know, reading through the source code of this. And because it's all Python, um, and clearly with other Python frameworks, it's like that as well. But anyway, I just want to throw Python out there. There's a lot of Python people, and that's why Bottle is cool, and that's why people want to use uh, Bottle and their projects, because Python's good. There's so many options with Python. Um, all of these are free. All of these could probably uh, suit your needs, whether or not, w whether you're going to use something like Pyramid, Django, Flask, Bottle, Falcon, Twisted, Tornado. Like, there's so many different options you have. Bottle is just one of them. I've given you 10 reasons to use it. This last one is simply that's Python, but you know, you could use other Python frameworks out there. If, if anybody's been watching my channel for any length of time, you guys know that I have tutorials out there on both Django and Flask, and um, they're relatively popular um, and decently in depth. So I uh, definitely love both of those frameworks. And I have a ton of experience with them. So I'm not trying to say anything bad about them, but Bottle is a good option for a lot of these micro frameworks, uh, very simplistic sites. Um, you might as well use Bottle versus something like Django. If it is like a, you know, even like, a, you know, some static, you know, basically a static website or something, I'd probably go with Bottle just because it's faster, faster to develop uh, and faster to run, obviously. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Also, if you could vote up the video and, uh, and share it or whatever, just uh, trying to grow. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you. Bye.